Yo, it's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. And I'm going to be breaking down Carlson Harris versus Shafkat Romanov. Man, what a fucking matchup. Best fight on the card, probably besides the main event. Uh, I know there's some really good fights on this card, man. Hakeem Adadu versus Mike Truzon and Mike Truzon we trust. Uh, Puna Holly Saryano versus Nick Maximoff. A lot of good fights, man. Uh, you know, Jason Witt versus uh, Philip Rowe. Miles John versus uh, John Castaneda. Uh, Julian Ar my boy, Julian Arosa. And then we get the long-awaited, you know, tough finale in uh, Brian Battle versus uh, Gore. But um, in my humble opinion, these guys... It's not, is there any ranked fighters here? No ranked fighters. None at all. These guys, and even Mark, uh, let me give him, uh, Andre Barrett. He gets a, I'll give him a shout out there. He's a really good fighter. Um, and, and, and Sam Alvey we trust. I might, you know what? Fuck it. I'll break that down. Fuck it. I'll break it down. <laughs> if I don't break it down, it's because I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not actually, no promises. But this fight right here, Shafkat Ramanov versus Carlson Harris, man, what a fucking matchup. Uh, you have a 14-0 fighter, uh, a dude that doesn't know how to lose versus a guy in Carlson Harris, in my humble opinion, uh, the guy that's just shocked everyone that has come up through here and has just been blowing the roof uh, out the place. And just tell them motherfuckers, hey, y'all shouldn't have doubted me. I'm here to win. And, um... I've just been shocked, man. Carlson Harris has looked amazing. Shafkat Romanoff has also looked amazing, but it's a different kind of expectation. You expected Shafkat Romanoff to look amazing. I didn't expect this. You know, I know. It's, okay, I get it. Some people did pick uh, Carlson to beat, uh, what's his face? Uh, Christian Aguilar. I thought Christian was going to knock him out. That's on me, right? Uh, but they didn't expect him to beat uh, Saeed uh, Zygamanev, right? Via Darce Choke, right? Uh, they didn't expect him to do that. And he did that, and uh, he's he's been doing his thing. But I think Shavkat's last two wins are a little better than uh, Carlston. But let's talk about the stats, man. Shavkat comes with a record of 14 and 0, fights at the Kyrgyzstan, age 27, height of 6'1, and reach 77. Um, Carlston Harris, uh, 17 and 4, is fighting out of Brazil. Um, he is 34 years old, which is interesting, man. He's, uh, I mean, this if he's ever gonna make a run, <laughs> it is right now. And he's been active actually. Just fought. Um, Fought a while ago, uh, actually. Or when was the last time he fought? That was yeah, three months ago, actually. Um, uh, six foot tall and uh, reached seventy six. So he really isn't like giving up too much reach. But I think Carlson Harris has had that kind of weird advantage over a lot of his opponents because of the reach and the height. And he's been a really tough challenge for a few guys. But um, in terms of what Carlson did in his last two fights, man, I, he looked a, a really amazing in his last two UFC fights against Christian Aguilera. Man, he oh my god he, he i mean christian went probably for one of the dumbest takedowns of all time and got anaconda choke but man the choke was beautiful um he got it done and um man he he, he just looked amazing in there uh against impa kasangane man he oh my god like it was like he he did a, a weird shoulder roll like he'd almost like parry and then throw the two right like he'd always do that against impa and he's always catching impa after impa throws his you know any of his combinations right he'd always shoulder roll almost it wasn't like a shoulder shoulder roll but he would like parry with his guard and then return he'd always return and eventually it caught up uh to impa he got caught with a hook and then you know it was good night irene and man he finished impa and impa isn't no like i know joaquin buckley made him look bad but impa's a former middleweight um and he's a really good fighter for Stanford MMA and or Stanford MMA. I keep calling him Stanford like the college, but um, from Stanford MMA. And um, Impa has a lot of potential, man. Um, and I, I and I think he he will come back to the UFC. Uh, but man, you know, bit of a rough road. I, I think it was a little unfair to cut him, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not I'm not Dana White, but <laughs> yeah, man. Th this guy hasn't lost in a long time. His last loss was to. Jaru Hussein in 2018. So he hasn't lost in a long time. Uh, he's on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I could have counted. On a 5-5, five, five, I was about to say 7. 5-5 <laughs> five, five win streak. So he's on a pretty good streak. And uh, and they're all finishes. All finishes. And um, he he's on some really good momentum right now. But uh, he's fighting a guy named Shafkat Romanov. And uh, this dude is uh, legit, man. This dude is... Oh, man. Um has just transferred to Sanford MMA, which is awesome. I love that. You know, y'all know me. I'm probably, besides 
Um, there's a lot of places I like, but besides AKA, number one, obviously, I think Sanford MMA is, or, you know, whatever you want to call them, Black Zillions or fucking uh, Hard Knocks, you know, I, I know I know everything about th- those guys. <laughs> I know I know since the test of time, but um, I, I like them because uh, I feel like they, I, I love Henry uh, Hoof's Dutch kickboxing style. And I just, I, the wrestling coach, Greg Jones, I just love how they mix things together. I do think if you're going to go there, because I, they've been, people have been saying they're glass cannons, and I don't think that's true. The way they fight, you have to be durable to fight that way. Because they're going forward, you know, this, and then right, the knee, knee, you know, like, you know you go watch. Like, all of them have their hands up, right? Uh it's just you just watch watch those guys and you see it and they're always going for forward. forward pressure it, you know you put so much pressure on something it's gonna something's gonna come back you open the door something's gonna come out right so it's like you put that kind of pressure you're gonna get some heat back and you have to be durable that's why a guy like Vicente Luque has done great with that style a guy like Rumble Johnson until recently until his Bellator debut has all has never been hurt has done great with that style uh, there's a lot of dudes that you know fought really well with that style of, you know, that Dutch kickboxing style, even Kumar Usman, I felt like Kumar Usman was at his best, my humble opinion, I felt like he, because in terms of like, I know some people are going to get mad at me, but in terms of dominant, great um, performances, well, being a well-rounded fighter, I felt like that was his most well-rounded moment, and um, this guy, Shafkat Rachmanov, I mean, he's such a well-rounded fighter, and I think he's just going to get better, Uh, I don't know, you know, he might have a, a suspect chin, but, um, we don't know yet, but man, the way he destroyed Alex Oliveira, man, uh, that was so easy for him. Alex Oliveira, I mean, he's he he's a weird one. He's not bad, but he he can like you know, the last guy he beat was Max Griffin. Look what, <laughs> well, not the last guy he beat, but one of the guys he beat was Max Griffin. And uh, look what Max is gonna do. He's gonna fight Neil Magny. <laughs> that Max Griffin's been on a fucking win streak. You know, that, I think that's Max Griffin's last loss, right? Um, and then what he did to Michelle Perez, a guy uh, that has a win over fucking Gilbert Burns, uh, his teammate, right? Obviously, so, you know, Gilbert obviously helped him a little bit. But, uh, I mean, this guy's a, a, you know, he might not be a really good MMA fighter. And, I, I mean, the guy is 26 and 3. So, it's hard to say he's not a good MMA fighter. But uh, I, I wouldn't say he's a complete MMA fighter. He's more of just of a grappler. But, man, uh, t- to go out there and, and submit this dude. Like, who's a legit, legit fucking beast on the crown? Walked him down, took him down, right? No, for, for dog walked him, basically. <laughs> like, uh, that's what I saw. I mean, the height and the reach was just fucking, the disparity was kind of sad to see. <laughs> Obviously, Michelle Perez is a lightweight, and he shouldn't have been in there with Rachmanov. But um, this this dude, man, he fucking walked him down and submitted him. Like, he, it was too easy. It was crazy how easy it was for him. And then his last win... Uh, or not his last one. Uh, another really good one he has under his belt is Jung Young Park. A guy, I mean, my humble opinion, is really, really good at middleweight and had uh, probably one of the rounds of the year against Gregory Rodriguez and almost took out Gregory, you know? So, um, the, really, really good win, man. Um, there are a few things that I think kind of go against Shopkat Romanov here. I mean, um, both guys he fought were lightweights, former lightweights. You know, Alex Oliveira, former lightweight. Michelle Perez, former lightweight. This is probably the first time he's going to fight someone who's a legit, legit, you know, can't make 155 welterweight, right? Carlson Harris is real size. And, I mean, I, I wouldn't say, okay, he, I would say Carlson Harris has more reach uh, than Michelle Perez. I think that's obvious. But uh, I wouldn't say he had more reach than Alex Oliveira. But I feel like he has more, even though he's he, he might be as long as Alex Oliveira, or he might be longer than Alex Oliveira. Um, I don't know how to say this. I think Alex is he's fast. I don't think he hits as hard as Carlson Harris. And I think there's something that's going to be coming back at Shafka. And if Shafka keeps forward pressure on him, I, obviously he can keep his hands up. But, um, you know, he, he's going to get something back at him. Even like Andre Fiala when he fought um, Michelle Pierre, right? He looked amazing in the first round. But it's like you keep going forward. You're going to get hit. And eventually your body is going to. It's gonna respond. It's normal. It's it's how the human body works, you know. Like unless you're you're a part of that very very special few that can take crazy amount of damage, you're probably gonna fall, right? So if Shavka, I mean, I, I would love to see him mix in the wrestling. That that could help with uh, the durability if he lacks that. And 
I, I could see. But if Shavkat doesn't fight smart, which I don't think he's going to do, um, he could get knocked out. I think Carlson Harris can find it. And if he, you know, if he gets rocked and then shoots for a takedown, you, you could see easy submission by Carlson Harris. Uh, I think Carlson is such a live dog here. Um, and this dude, if he fucking beats Shavkat Rabinov, I will never doubt him again. I picked against him twice. Uh, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to pick against him again. But, uh, man, this motherfucker, uh, he's, dude, if he ends up winning the fucking UFC world title, <laughs> remember my boy SSG told me that. He said, like, man, imagine Carlson Harris with that belt. Like, man, you never know. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, this motherfucker, man, he won't give up, man. He won't give up. He's just one of those dudes, you know, sadly, I have to mention his fucking name, Chris Curtis. Right? One of these dudes that just come in, came out of nowhere. Like, you know what? Put some respect on my name, man. I'm here to win. But, um... I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> and, oh, oh, we hope Drickus Duplass destroys Chris Curtis uh, from my boy Brendan Allen. But, um, but yeah, Shafkat Ramanov should win this fight everywhere. He's better everywhere. He's a better striker. Um, I would say he's a better grappler. He has better hands. Um, yeah, I think I think he – but I think Carlson's tough, so I got Shafkat Ramanov by decision. That is my pick. I'm going to take Shafkat here. I think he's just going to – I think one thing that's going to help Shafkat – is the I think the leg kicks and the body kicks uh, that he has these really good body kicks and just that jab them straight punches you know uh, throwing that one two one right that that beautiful one two one he has um, I would say re refrain from the hooks uh, that guy throws really really good like just counter straight shots like he just knows how to parry shots and just uh, return it back um, if you just throw down the middle just attack the body he's long uh, I, I, he's not Carlson is very awkward on the feet. I wouldn't say he's a very technical fighter, but he knows how to return stuff back. That's one thing I give him. And I think uh, if Shavkat can make him, you know, let him make mistakes. Um, and, you know, he only, in my humble opinion, he really only has that parry and then he throws that right hand. If he can, like, roll under or get under and then throw a lead hook and kind of respond that way or just counter off of those attacks, I think he can he can potentially finish him. But, um, and, uh, but I think Rachmanov by decision is a is a fair one. They're so evenly. Well, I wouldn't say evenly matched. They're both really good. Um, yeah, and they both can really win. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. If you're new, subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation growing. Love y'all and goodbye.